So, um, I'm, at first, I'm really very, very glad that there are so many new members at this uh, meeting, new persons and uh, new faces uh, together with the old ones, like I am. So, uh, as I said, I have been uh, uh, with this network and with these institutions working with them since 20 years. And uh, I'm also the coordinator at our department, so this international coordinating and international work is very near and deep in my heart. Castalia Network, something I would like to tell you, young ones, new ones. Castalia Network has existed really more than 20 years. So uh, it was before a uh, so-called ICP network, which was which, which got funding from Brussels, and we had annual meeting uh, in, in at each institution which was part which was participating in this network. Uh, after some years, uh, Brussels decided not funding any more of these kind of meetings, but we had a very good relationship and good working together. So we decided at, at, as individual institutions and coordinators to keep this network running. And uh, then we decided also to uh, change our name because we couldn't use ICP number something uh, network name anymore. And we decided, I can tell you, uh, to change the name in Finland, uh, middle in the night. Uh, you know we have these light summer nights. It was two o'clock and sun was shining. And we were uh, sitting on a lake and uh, changing our name Castalia. And since that time, I think it was 1997 or something like that, when that happened, but anyway, very long time ago. Since that, we have been together. Every year we have met each other. What, what I value very much is that we have personal contact with each other. And it has helped very much, for instance, when we try to motivate our students to, to go abroad to do exchange semester or the whole year. During these years there have been many, many changes, many new things happening. And now the latest one is new Erasmus Plus program. And it means that, for instance, at this meeting I would like uh, to have some kind of small discussion what kind of possibilities we have to follow uh, the wishes of Erasmus Plus program that we could send also students for the whole year to other institutions. I know that it is a very, very huge work to motivate a student to go abroad for the whole year because their cats might die during this year or the, you know these reasons. My cat is so long time alone, or my boyfriend, or my girlfriend, or my garden, or my car. How can they exist after one year? Oh, well, anyway, anyway uh, many changes. There has also been many changes at our institutions, and we all have heard that uh, there are economical problems in different countries. Education is uh, under big control and changes. Also, I can tell you also in Finland, which is, as you know, this famous PISA country, and we educators sometimes we feel, okay, yes, that's very fine. But uh, that's why I also asked if you could uh, each of you have a very short presentation of your institution. Because usually if we have new members at the meetings, new members are presenting themselves and their institutions. And the old ones are sitting here and just listening, and the new ones don't know what is happening. I don't mean that you have a huge presentation, but something what is typical at your institution, so that you know 
what kind of institution is that partner where you are prob probably motivating your student to go and to study?